Hey guys, so uh, this is Friday night, Derby City 2023, day one. I played one match and I won that match. Um, just got done at like 10.30 at night. Didn't start until about 8.30. Was supposed to play at 7. Didn't, didn't, didn't. The, the whole tournament's really backed up. Too many people, not enough tables. Some of the matches are going really slow, I guess. Um, but, you know, I won, so I don't play again until tomorrow. <clears throat> they said, uh, what they say? No earlier than 11.30 a.m. And that's cool, so I got to spend some time here at home unwinding. I'll have a beer, you know, because I had a lot of caffeine today, so I got to get sleep because I got to get up tomorrow. So I, uh, I've i noticed a bit of a trend with myself over the last several years in, in Derby City. It, not every match, but there have been an awful lot of times where I, it's a race to three in banks, right? Where I'm up two nothing and uh, up two nothing fairly quickly because I'm shooting really well, and then I don't know if I start getting extra cautious because you know I've got the match in the bag, or my opponent just decides, hey, I better start shooting. But there have been an awful lot of times where the opponent has caught up and make it two two, and then sometimes they win, sometimes I win. Tonight. Uh, I, I got up 2 nothing, but it wasn't really quick. I wasn't shooting particularly well. My opponent wasn't shooting particularly well, but I did get up 2 nothing, and I think I was up three balls to nothing in the what would have been my last game. But he ended up catching up. He ended up catching up, so we're hill-hill, you know. Um, and I think I won the last game five to three, maybe. <clears throat> Yeah, it just happened, but so I should remember, but I didn't know. What's, what was, well, what is still a little bit irritating was we showed up at 7, which is when we were supposed to play. The people that were on that table had just started what I believe was a 5.30 match, scheduled for 5.30. They just started it. So we had to wait and wait and wait and wait. And I don't know the two gentlemen that were playing on the on the table, but they just didn't play very well, and they played very, 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 very slowly and cautiously. And of course, it went hill hill. Um, it just took it took forever, and it was almost like they were both doing the exact same thing, which was. Nah, I don't have I don't have my cue down here, but. Let's say <clears throat> you gotta think I'm exaggerating. Let's say one of the guys needs one ball. You got his cue in his hand, and he would just stand here, seriously, for 15 or 20 seconds. The other guy would do the same thing. I've seen people going and measuring stuff and all the I've seen people take a bunch of practice strokes this I've never seen but I saw them both of the guys were doing it they had a shot I mean they weren't thinking about whether to shoot it or not they weren't trying to make sure they had the angle right or not as there as I could tell because they weren't freaking moving with their statues anyway what I believe those two guys were guilty of was trying to make every shot a two-way shot. Trying to hit everything pocket speed and always leave the cue ball, you know, stuck to a rail or whatever, like something like bank bank the 13th straight back down there at pocket speed and leave the cue ball here. It's not that this is a, a bad thing, but it was really taking away from any offense that they might have had to begin with. And they didn't have any chance to get any offense going because they were never, you know, they kept missing, 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 missing. And then even if they were the most offensive great bankers in the world, they were rusty by then because they didn't know how to make a shot at slow speed and make it a two-way shot. That was just my impression. I could be 100% wrong.
was that there were an awful lot of shots that I felt like they could have made if they just shot the damn ball in. Anyway, so I'm sitting there, I'm talking to my opponent. We're both waiting for these guys to finish. And I'm telling them, this is what I think, you know, they're doing. Uh, I think that they're both doing the same thing, and they're they're trying they're trying way too hard to be conservative and all this stuff. And I said, you don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to do that. Our match will be over with quickly, whether I win or you or you win. I'm not going to do that. Then I basically shot like shit. Shot badly, not really like shit. I mean, I did win, uh, and I got a two nothing. And then I started playing freaking two way shots on everything. I have a shot that was imminently makeable. Instead of shooting this 13 cross corner, which is an easier shot, even like this. It's an easier shot, but the cue ball is going to go down here, and there were balls down here. There were, there were shit my opponent could make. So I would shoot the 13 cross side. So I just so I could leave the cue ball down here. And I would miss it. I've been telling myself for, well, as long as I've been going to Derby City and playing bank pool, that my strength in bank pool is my offense. Uh, it's not my moving game, my safety game, anything like that. It's my offense. Now sometimes I don't, don't even have the offense. But if I have a strength, it is that. And I need to try to take advantage of it when I can. And I tell myself this every year. But like I said, I've noticed this pattern where I get a lead and, and then I get cautious and timid, which is the right way to play. You get the lead, then you're not, you're never supposed to take any chances once you get the lead, and all this and that. I'm talking about one pocket and bank pool, but by being so overly cautious and shooting two-way shots that I'm not used to shooting two-way shots, I need to work on those two-way shots. Remind me that in 2023, I need to work on my two-way shots. I don't work on them because I'm down here playing by myself most of the time. And I don't want to play two-way shots against myself, but I should do that. I do it in one pocket. I just don't do it in banks. Anyway, by doing all those shots that I'm not as good at, lose some confidence. Well, crap, I used to be a good banker. Now I haven't made a shot in a while. Of course, I've complicated the shots by trying to make two-way shots at them. I did exactly the same thing that the guys before me on the table had done. And I said, I'll never do that. Guess what I did? So anyway, there we go. Um, I am absolutely going to have to shoot a hell of a lot better tomorrow than I did, you know, to do to even win. Um, and I'm, I'm not knocking the guy that I played against, but I, I got the impression that he was a nine ball player. And the first time I play like a real bank pool player, if I play like I did tonight, I'm going to get absolutely murdered, three nothing. Absolutely murdered, um, and I would deserve to get murdered if I play like this again. I have not hit a ball on this table since Wednesday night, and I'm not planning to. The tables at Derby play too different, and I don't want to get any kind of false sense of confidence by making a bunch of shit down here and thinking it's going to carry over to the tables down there at the casino. It's not going to carry over, so I'm not going to hit a ball down here while I'm still in the bank tournament. When I'm in the one pocket, I probably will for a couple of reasons. One is a lot of the one pocket shots are already hit softly. It is a moving game. A lot of it's going to, a lot of it is the same on this table or those tables. And also those tables will have had a lot of play and will start playing more like normal tables. Hell, they'll start tomorrow probably playing like normal tables a little bit more. Tonight they were just a little bit ridiculously fast and quick, which they are every year, and so that was no big surprise. Um, the surprise was in me how, even though I said I wasn't going to, and even though I knew I shouldn't have, because I know it's not my strength, I started playing too conservatively. 
Um, I shouldn't have done it, you know, and I should have just kept my foot on the gas pedal and done my gamut to just mow through the match. Um, I should have done that, but I didn't. I got scared of my opponent and that made me overly cautious. Anyway, I guess that's it. I have got to stop this video and have a beer and try to relax a little bit. And I'll talk to you guys later.